That just got me tipsier than any dive bar I've ever been in. Look, I ain't a spring chicken no more, so the next move's gonna settle this. If you happen to get back to your feet, then I lose. I'll take your final attack with everything I've got. Now let's see if you survive this. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we are going to be closely examining the infant-inspired member of the Don Quixote Pirates, the ever-manly Senor Pink. Senor Pink is a somewhat portly 46-year-old man who wears dark aviator sunglasses and generally dresses like a baby. Yes, I know, there's a lot of red flags in one sentence there, but I assure you there is a very, well, sort of compelling reason for this choice in fashion. And to fully understand that, we need to travel 16 years back in time to an era where Senor Pink was a surprisingly suave-looking man. He was a member of the Don Quixote Pirates, led by the ever-infamous Doflamingo. And so he participated in their various activities, such as looting, bounty collection, and all sorts of other underworld business to build their eventual empire. As an officer of the crew, Senor Pink was very close to his other crew members and came to consider them as a family, often showing great care for their well-being. But at the same time, Senor Pink does have a moderately cruel aspect to his personality as well, which I suppose one would need when working as a Don Quixote pirate. However, one day Senor Pink met a lady by the name of Russian. Unfortunately, though, Russian absolutely despised pirates, which resulted in Senor Pink lying about his profession by claiming that he worked in a bank. And thus, Senor Pink began living a double life, eventually marrying Russian and even having a baby boy named Gimlet. But as I'm sure you've gathered by now, this story was destined to end in tragedy, as while Senor Pink was on a week-long mission with the Don Quixote Pirates, Gimlet came down with an illness and was rushed to hospital. However, it was too late and he passed away. A distraught Russian called the supposed bank her husband worked at, only to be told that there was no such person under their employ. And when Senor Pink finally returned home, she confronted him, culminating in her fleeing their home into the pouring rain and becoming trapped under a landslide. Russian did survive her ordeal, however, she was left in a vegetative state, completely unresponsive to any outside stimulus. A distraught Senor Pink visited Russian at the hospital day after day, trying to get through to his wife. Until one day, he brought in Gimlet's bonnet and put it on himself as a joke, and stunningly, this made Russian smile. And from then on, Senor Pink traded his suave suit for his child's bonnet and other baby-related wear because it was the only thing able to make Russian smile. Something that proved far more valuable to him than expensive clothing or even his own reputation. Because I should point out that Senor Pink didn't simply wear this while he was visiting Russian, but it actually became his daily attire and he even performed his duties as a pirate in it. Several of his crewmates laughed at him and a lot of people in general thought he was a pervert, but Senor Pink didn't care at all. And that was the first step towards developing his modern day hard-boiled attitude. At some stage after this incident, Senor Pink participated in the takeover of Dress Rosa with the rest of the Don Quixote pirates and would live on the island for the next 10 years, establishing himself as a top tier fighter in the Corridor Coliseum. As a combatant, Senor Pink possesses a fair amount of superhuman strength, keen battle intellect, superb durability, and a rather intriguing devil fruit known as the Sui Sui no Mi. This is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to swim through solid matter as if it were water, although quite notably it does not allow them to swim through actual water due to the inherent weakness of all devil fruits. And yeah, it sounds like like a bit of an odd fruit, but Senor Pink generally uses it to great effect by sneaking up on opponents or using his incredible swimming talent to gain momentum to increase the force of his attacks. During Senor Pink's time on Dress Rosa, he also gained a fair bit of weight as well as a kind of cult following amongst young, beautiful women for his hard-boiled attitude. And what is meant by that is Senor Pink's mastery of the art of what I am going to call aggressive apathy. A great example of that would be when Senor Pink quite literally ripped off a woman's bra in order to wipe his mouth after eating a particularly messy tomato. He has also been known to brush his teeth with a shoe, you know, stuff like that that proves that he just doesn't give a damn, but in the most active manner. And none of this deters his female fan base. In fact, this hard-boiled nature only makes them desire him more. Of course, as part of his hard-boiled lifestyle, Senor Pink also does not care for his admirers in the slightest and constantly tells them that they should be looking for someone younger than him. The irony, of course, being that he tells them all this whilst dressing like an infant. With all of that said, Senor Pink is most certainly one of the kinder members of the Don Quixote Pirates, having shown a willingness to save those in need. And you know what? He even rescued a cat during his battle with Frankie. So he's a pretty damn nice guy. Speaking of, Senor Pink found a kindred spirit in the figure of Frankie, despite the two of them being enemies. The two of them seem to share a broad philosophy on what it is to be a man and how a manly battle should be conducted. These two figures would become engaged in combat after the Straw Hats commenced their operations on Dress Rosa to take down Doflamingo. And while their quote-unquote battle had many unconventional aspects to it, eventually it boiled down to who could tank the most attacks. Essentially, Frankie stood still while Senor Pink performed a suplex on him, and then Senor Pink stood still as Frankie punched him in the face repeatedly. And this went on for quite some time. The battle ended with a bold challenge from Senor Pink, proposing that should Frankie survive his ultimate attack, known as Baby Buster, then he would concede the match. Frankie, of course, did survive and elected to finish Senor Pink with Frankie Iron Boxing. During 
this beating, Senor Pink recalled his lost family and shed a tear upon his defeat, which Frankie respectfully wiped away. And shortly after, following the defeat of Dolph Lomingo, Senor Pink was arrested along with the majority of the Don Quixote pirates. Some more fun facts about Senor Pink. Senor Pink has been known to use a wide variety of weapons over his time with the Don Quixote Pirates, having been seen with a rifle upon entering Minion Island and a katana during the takeover of Dress Rosa, although his exact proficiency with these weapons is unknown. Thus far in the series, Senor Pink's Devil Fruit is the only one that allows its user to maintain some sort of ability to swim. Once again, not in actual water, but hey, it's still swimming, I guess. While most of Senor Pink's attacks have some sort of basis in wrestling, he does have one rather curious utility move called Diaper Bomb, whereby he releases a flurry of spherical bombs from his diaper-shaped lower garb. And finally, a truly useless fact. Despite dressing like a baby and sucking on a pacifier, as well as his love for his late son Gimlet, Senor Pink claims to not like children. And that pretty much does it for Senor Pink. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line View Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also, I've recently launched a Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.